Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, um, I fucked up and I'm a little bit sad because I should have done this a few days earlier before the update actually hit us. But fortunately, uh, the real battles don't start until next week. So I can at least uh, try to get some people to come into the clan, uh, some active people. Now we need 20 people in the clan, but it says 20, but we actually need 20 active people on, to be able to actually start battles. So um, yeah, I'm just looking for I'm looking for some people that are that are planning to um, you know do clan battles that are PVP enthusiasts in Monster Super League. There's not many of those. Uh, there's not there's not many of us. Actually, I'm not really even a PVP enthusiast, but I I do like you know try to get to Heroes One every single week. Um, yeah, there's no there's no requirement to join uh, join join my clan. I'm I'm just gonna <laughs> invite everyone that I can. I actually. Um, went through my management tab and I I basically booted anyone that has not done a single battle in the week. It's already Thursday, uh, which actually includes people that have not logged on in more than four days. Now I have some crazy, crazy shit. I, sh I should have actually done this on video. Like there were people that have not logged on for like an entire month and I haven't noticed. But but th then again, I haven't really cared about clan battles. I haven't even clicked this tab in a very long time. Um, so... Yeah, I basically booted a lot of inactive people from the clan, uh, which opened up many, many slots. We're not even half half full. Uh, we need 16 more people, and we need six more apprentices. Apprentices are basically new players. Um, it's almost like a VIP status for new players. Basically, you're able to join and get all the rewards. You're unable to get booted, and you are also... Um, you also get to do clan battles with half the energy cost that it normally costs normal normal people to do. So basically, if you're a new player in the game, I think it's limited to people that have only played for less than two weeks, if I remember correctly. Um, they can they can become apprentices to the clan. Um, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, we we didn't have any rules before. Like we did not have any rules for this clan. Like there were there were no rules. It was just pure anarchy. Um, and interestingly, this is actually not by my design. The people that are left are actually the the, actu the high level players, and this is this is not something I intended. I didn't like just kick all the low level players. You actually see some low level players here that did some battles, but I actually kept everyone that that has done one battle, including this guy. I didn't click Swellig because he's he's my buddy, but I need to ask clan leader. I need to ask him. I need to interrogate him. And ask him what the fuck is going on. Why the hell he he hasn't logged on in two days? Um, but yeah, I uh, I'll need to do that. Um, but yeah, there's there's no there's still no requirements for the clan. But I think I at least want to keep it as players that are active, um, active as in like you don't necessarily be need to do clan battles. But it's like people that are at least farming every day. If you look at this. You'll see that high level players, um, you know, high level players get EXP in the game, or XP in the game. Um, the way to get XP in the game is by farming, right? You farm stages, you get like 100 XP, and then you do that stage like, you know, maybe like 10, 20,000 times, and you get a level. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, how XP works in Monster Super League. So basically, people that, uh, that are high level, means it means that they, they've been farming a lot. They've been... Uh, They've been running stages and just basically farming a lot. It doesn't matter if they're they're uh, farming with well, actually, if they're har farming with high efficiency, they're probably going to get higher levels. But if they're farming um, and they're just active every single day, you know, constantly running the game, constantly, um, you know, doing doing farming, co constantly farming either golems, either story um, for sigils, doesn't matter. Um, but as as long as they're on the game farming, they're going to get high levels. So, and it also means that they're going to have better gym quality, they're probably going to have more gold to get, to get more 6 stars. Um, so, basically, um, yeah, if you're in the game constantly playing every single day, then I think um, I think this is the place for you. Because we'll, we'll be able to do some clan battles. I'm going to focus this clan probably more on the, the PvP side. Um, I don't really like doing Titans. I find it a little bit boring. But maybe the clan battles will, ha will be a lot more fun. And... Yeah, I'm gonna probably just you know kind of say this is a we're we're, we're gonna be leaning more towards the PvP side of uh, of clan battles, but if you're interested, um, come join us. Come in, come in, uh, 
Yeah, come, come, come in, come. We have cookies. We have cookies and ice cream. Uh, yes, we are a casual guild. Come chat with us. That's that's we our Discord. I think it's still active. I think this is this this Discord is still active. Um, but yeah, just come request and I will accept anyone. Um, and if you're inactive for a very long time or you don't do any of the battles, then I'll just I'll just kick you. Like it's just it's. It's uh, it should be a pretty good system. I mean, I can infinitely kick people, so that's that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, as long as you come and you do do a battle, then I you'll, you'll be safe. Um, there's no requirements right now, and if you're an apprentice, if you're ju if you just started the game, come apply to Nvidia. I think you can find us in the in the uh, I can't click this join create tab, but if you search us here, um, you should be able to find us very very easily. Um, if you want me to request you to join, you can hit me up on, you can PM me on Discord. And I think I can actually, you know, if I go into chat, someone on the same channel, I can request to, oh wait, no, I, maybe I can request to join clan. I don't think I can request to join clan, but, uh, interesting. What is this? What is Derp Turtles Captain? I don't understand. Isn't this his account name? But why does this say Derp Turtle? Oh! He named his ship! You can name your ship! Oh! Oh shit! Oh, that's why! Okay, okay, I, I get it now. Um... <clears throat> what do I name my ship? How do, how do I name my ship? Should I, should I, uh, should I shamelessly advertise my YouTube channel here as well? I advertise it any, everywhere in the game. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shamelessly advertise my YouTube channel there as well. How do I, how do I, uh, oh wait, I have to buy this to, to name my ship, don't I? Oh shit, I'm, I'm broke. I don't have money. Um, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Um. But yeah, I, I think I think that's pretty much it for clan battles. That's that's it for me uh, advertising my clan. Um, spent like five minutes talking about that. But yeah, if you if you want to join us, please please do. We're we're desperate. We we have cookies and ice cream. We 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 don't really, but uh, but but we have me. We have me, and and I'm uh, I'm I'm all the cookies and ice cream you'll need. All right, uh, what's all right, uh, let's let's take a look at the stats of these monsters. I did a review of them yesterday, um, but I just kind of wanted to take a brief look at their stats to see if it's good. Um, now this guy, actually, he's not bad. He's got pretty high defense. He's got really high HP. I think he's he's pretty tanky. Um, yeah, pretty good Titan spawn. Just the eighty percent attack down for two turns. Definitely not bad. You can use him for Titans early on. And he also has a uh, HP if you can get him as a variant. So he's he's a he's a pretty good Titans mod. This one's the one I'm excited about. Um, these guys, I think they said they were going to be clan battle, the clan PVP rewards, and I really want to get this guy because he's got a, he's got a team morale boost, plus he's got Predator, so that's going to be really really nice. And he's got at least 3,300 attack. Um, definitely not too high, but he's also relatively tanky. Like his HP and defense pool are pretty high as well. So I think he's a yeah, he's a he's a pretty good monster. He's he's pretty de decent. Um, this guy's the taunt one. Well, this is extremely high HP. Would have been awesome if he was like an aggressor or something. Um, but he's also got pre pretty high attack as well. Pretty low recovery. Um, HP is also a little bit low on the little bit on the low side for a defender because well actually a lot of defenders um, don't have really high HP but they're, they're mostly like defenders with really good skills like wood nightmare and stuff which you would still use anyway even if they have like really really shitty uh, base HP because of how how good their skills are um, but this guy I'm not too sure maybe he's he could be good for Colossus because you know taunts quite good for that but Colossus isn't really worth doing right now, so maybe in the future once they fix Colossus, it might be worth doing. I'm 
probably I probably think these two are gonna be unattainable. Like this guy is just so broken. He's got 3,800 attack, a 50% morale boost, plus elemental edge, plus he's light. Like it just it can't get any better. Like it's just it's so OP. Um, the dark one is uh, dark one's really tanky actually. He's pretty good. I could put him on Siphon, or not Siphon, um, Pugilist, put him on defense, and he would be extremely annoying, like, he would just be, uh, like, he, cause he, he could be healing himself, plus he's really tanky, plus if I put him on Pugilist, he's gonna be, like, stunning every turn, so you, you wouldn't even want to focus him because of how tanky he is, he is, but you can't really ignore him too much, well, you ha kinda have to ignore him, but then he ha always has a chance to stun you, so, that's definitely something, um, this variant color actually looks pretty nice. It looks weird, but it actually looks pretty good. All these variant colors look pretty weird. They look neon. Oh, this one looks really nice. This one definitely looks better as a variant. I think the normal one of this one looks better. The orange with red color scheme makes it look really fiery. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's, there's also the Pixie. I forgot to take a look at the Pixies and their stat distribution. The Fire one's definitely the best, and, yeah, she's alright. She's, she's got pretty high recovery, but she is an actual healer, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, recovery is actually pretty good on her. Um, uh, she has a pretty high HP pool. I would say defense is a little bit on the low side. I would rather her be a little bit tankier, but I guess this is fine. You can still make her pretty tanky with this. Just like HP, defense, recovery for Titans. Um, definitely not too bad. The water one, I don't really think is worth using. Sap and dominance, not really too good. Um, she's also recovery type. Pretty high recovery. Um, yeah, decent, decent monster, I think. Decent, decent in stats, pretty shitty in skills. Same with her. She's actually got pretty nice stats. She's got a little bit of attack as well. Yeah, healer monsters, they, they kind of do well with everything. Kind of, um, even if you need attack, it's actually pretty good. She has 2,400. Is it higher than Dark Hero? Did she break the record? I think Dark Hero still has the highest, right? Yeah, she has 2,500. Um for highest attack out of recovery units, but she is balanced, like the Dark Hero is, a, is balanced type. Um, I think these are going to be rebirth monsters, so we can possibly get the light dark versions of them um, in, the, in the rebirth. Unfortunately, their light dark versions are too, aren't too good. They're not even as good as their uh, the, the fire one. The fire one is definitely really, really strong. Defense buff is, is really rare. There's only three monsters in the game that have them now, and, um, and she's one of them, so... That actually makes her really nice. I can't find her. Where, where is she? Wait, she's not... Oh, wait, she's over here. She's all the way over here. This one's actually pretty good because she's got defense down, a two-turn defense down, and Vigor's actually pretty nice. I would actually build her if I could get one of her. Um, she's also got much better stats. Low attack, high HP, high defense, high recovery. Like, just, just perfect. This is a this is a really good stat distribution for uh for light units. Oh dang her her variant looks so good. Look at this. Plus she's got a critly. Like critly is also very good and and everywhere. Um, you can use this in clan battles as well. The dark one's actually not bad. Um, I think the non variant actually has a much better color scheme. She's got Battle Rush and Resilience. Resilience is actually pretty nice. It's, it's not too bad. And also lasts three turns. So I guess she's kind of worth building. I would probably, next month, I would build a Dark one, a Light one, and a Fire one. Um, I would actually say Light is the strongest, then Fire, then Dark. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely build one, one of the Light ones. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, for the monster review, and uh, I, I would have liked to do clan battles, but unfortunately, we're <laughs> missing some players. Um, but yeah, if you see this video, if you don't have a clan, um, it doesn't matter if you're weak now. If you're just 
if you're just active, like if you just started the game, you can still join us as apprentices. If you're past the apprentice period, which is like, you know, kind of stuck in the middle, but you still want to join the clan, um, we, we don't really have any re level requirements either. You can still come and join us, um, but I just, you know, I, 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 I do actually want people to be active, you know, actually actively playing the game. Um, so if you're not, then I can't say you're safe. You might you might get booted if you like don't log on for like four days or if you uh, don't do any of the clan battles. Um, but yeah, obviously we can't do any clan battles until people actually start the game. Um, this I think. I remember them saying on the patch notes that this week's clan battles for, for clan conflict does not count. But uh, next, hopefully by by the reset, by the 28th, which is in four days, we'll have enough people to at least do some clan battles. But yeah, please, please come join us. Um, we'll, we have cookies and ice cream. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.